In this video, I'll be showing you how to reduce input lag on your ROG Xbox Ally X. It's a very simple method, so if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. But it's actually a very simple method, but I'm going to try and explain everything really slowly for the people that might not understand it or are very new to this. Now, if you have input delay, that could be for various reasons, but let's say you're playing a really demanding game like Call of Duty. Call of Duty is very demanding graphically, which means you might get lower FPS. Now, when you get lower FPS, that in turn means more input delay, which is obviously not what you want. So anytime you're pressing a button, like you're jumping, it's going to be more delayed compared to something where you were playing something like that wasn't really demanding, like let's say Minecraft, and it's more instantaneous, right? That's not due to the game. That's just due to whatever you're playing on and the frame rate difference. So all I want to do is go to command center if I want to lower it. I want to always change my operating mode whenever I'm playing something demanding to turbo mode, which uses 25 watts of power. Your battery life is going to be used a lot more during turbo mode, but if you're plugged in or if you have an external charger, you should be good to go. Turbo mode is always the way to go whenever you're playing anything demanding. And even if you're not playing anything demanding, if you feel like you're still getting certain input delay, just go on turbo mode. It will make a massive difference. The next thing you can do to also like decrease your input delay is change your resolution. By default, you're going to be on 1080p, but if you're playing on handheld mode, 900p and even 720p still looks really good because it's such a seven inch small screen that it's not going to be much of a difference between 720p and 1080p on a seven inch screen. So that's going to make a massive difference. Next thing you want to do is change your FPS limit from 60 to about 120 or even max because the more FPS you get, the lower your input delay is going to be. And then finally, all you have to do is change your refresh rate from 60 hertz to 120 hertz and then you should be good to go. Another thing is, let's say you're using Bluetooth. So I'm going to go to Bluetooth right now. If you're using Bluetooth and connecting a controller, it might be because your controller is a bit far away from your console. So try and move your console closer to your controller or try a different controller or just try playing handheld with your ROG Xbox Ally X instead. And it's as simple as that. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe.